Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Thank you, Lord. Glory to Dios. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. Thank you for today. Glory. Oh, yes, Lord. Lord, special thanks for you today, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord, Sister Watson, Alison Eccles. God bless you all. Amen. Yes, white man. Jesus. Canada is calling. Yes. Canada is here. Amen. He's like a representative himself and Harris on behalf of Canada. That's a heavy load, my brothers. A big load, not heavy. A big load. Hallelujah. Yes, Prakash. Hallelujah. This is Thanksgiving. America. All the American areas. The day is Thanksgiving. Canada own Canada Thanksgiving was only October. They are closer to the truth than the United States. Hallelujah. Glory a Dios. Yes, Lord. The Lord is our strength. That's right. Yes. Hallelujah. Baptiste, God bless you. Camille, Sukran Baptiste, Virginia Rambaran. All the warriors are checking in. Thanksgiving or no Thanksgiving day, they are checking in. Today is a holiday, but you know, today and tomorrow is two big shopping days. Pandemic or no pandemic? Yes, Virginia Rambaran. Hallelujah. It's good to be alive. Look, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad Hallelujah. in it. We had nothing to do with it, you know. Amen. We did not shape it. And <laughs> no. The earth remains the same. Summer and winter. We can reverse it. Only in the Bible. We see man was able, Joshua, sun stand still, moon, hold your horses, stay where you are. Hallelujah. And Isaiah took the message to Hezekiah. He said, what sign you give me? He said, the, the sundial shall move forward 10 degrees. That is 40 minutes. Every degree is 4 minutes. That's stick in my head since 1952. And it never left. 40 minutes. He said, hey, hey, hey. Is this it for the sun to continue going forward? 
You wasn't stupid. The sun is rising. I want a better guarantee than that. Reverse the process. <laughs> Push the sun back. In layman's talk. Mm -hmm. Isaiah said no big thing. And they watch the sundial go backwards 20. <laughs> My Lord, you can't do that. A man of God could do that when it's necessary. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, Sonia Peter, John Giff. Who is a man of God? Huh? Who is a man of God? Only the man of God. The child of God, the man of God, include man and woman and children too. All right. I didn't say the preachers. All right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There were a lot of prophets, you know. During Jeremiah, Ezekiel times, you know. But they were small. They just brought one message. And we don't pay attention to them. We only pay attention to the so-called big fellas. Mm -hmm. All the prophets are important. They are messengers of God. Hallelujah. Yes, Magdalene Reno, God bless you. Hallelujah. I want some more to come on board before I really wish this Thanksgiving business. Second Corinthians chapter 10 and verse Verses 3, 4, and 5. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal of the flesh, but mighty through God. The pulling down of stronghold, I'm dangerous. I pull down strongholds in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Every believer is dangerous yeah. to the well-being of Satan and his hordes. You better believe that. Yeah. Casting down imagination. We move from what you see to what you can't see. And every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. Where are they? Where is Engels? Where is Marx? Where is Lenin? Where is Stalin? Where is Khrushchev? Where all of them? Mao, Zhu Enlai, Ho Chi Minh. Yeah. Some of you don't know them. You're too young. Where are they? Fighting with one another and cursing one another right now in Hades. It's you, 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 you cost me. <laughs> yeah, they said there was no God. But soon as they died, I tell folks, listen, there are no unbelievers in eternity. As soon as those wretches die, and you have some wretches, not what you may think we call wretched. You know. They're just in three-piece suits. 
the real power. Yeah. As soon as they die, they come to the realization, hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. There is a God. Look, oh, oh, hey, hey. There is a God. I was a fool. <laughs> but they believe too late. They can't change the status. There's nothing they can do now. Hallelujah, somebody important. Hi, Sister Janice. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. Oh, glory to God. Yes, yes. Yes, the calls are coming in. Yes. Estrella Brown. Glory to God. Casting down imagination and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. And bring it into captivity. Every thought to the obedience of Christ. Christ is everything. He is everything. The Father has handed over judgment to him. Hallelujah. He said the words that I have spoken unto you. The same word shall judge you in the last days. Yeah, he can judge you. The same one you want to spit in his face. That same one. Huh? Hallelujah. And let me give you the nugget for today. I'll read it again a little later on. John 10, 17. Therefore that my father loved me because I laid down my life that I may pick it up again. Tomorrow I'll give you the other part. Uh, verse 18 to that. That's right. He laid down his life. And he picked up his life again. That is power and authority. Hallelujah. Estrella Brown. God bless you, Sister Brown. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That's wonderful. Wonderful. Yes. Ellen Richards. Glory to Dios. Hallelujah. Today is Thanksgiving in the United States. And we'll have to pray a special prayer for the United States. Yes. Thank him that there were no big demonstrations and fire and burning. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. But don't forget, you know, what we sow, we reap. And we always sow, always reap more than what we, we sow. You sow, you reap more of the same kind. That's why a word of warning to Afro-Americans. Be careful what you sow. Stop the looting and the burning. You're setting up your children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Don't do that.
Hallelujah. Mary, you stitch. Oh God, we thank you. <clears throat> we thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Okay, those who are on board, I would like to wish you a very special happy Thanksgiving, especially in the United States of America and the American territories. Puerto Rico, U.S. Virgin Islands, Guam, Iwo Jima. Huh? Hallelujah. And wherever the American bases are. Afghanistan, Iraq, across Europe. Yeah. That's right. The armed forces, those that are on the battleships in the Far East, patrolling the South China Sea, those that are based in Japan, and those that are based in Korea, wherever you are, the Air Force, Amen. wherever you are, Amen. some of you might be listening. Don't forget, Thanksgiving is deeper than eating. Hallelujah. It's not what that goes into a man defiles the man. No, not what come out of him defiles him. It's what go in. In his heart. In his soul. In his spirit. Are you listening to me? Today should really be you know, it's a strange thing. Thanksgiving should be really a, be a day of rejoicing and praising and thanking God. Whole day. And if you want to make it more powerful, you don't eat. Or you eat very little because you want to just give God thanks. For what he has done. You appreciate. His life. That dwells in you. If you are born again. You give him thanks. There is a sacrifice. In the book of Hebrew. That the Bible talks about. The sacrifice of praises. From a moment. The book of Hebrews. Read it. You'll see it there. The mouth is not only for food. Mm. No. Hallelujah. Mm. So I want to wish you a blessed Thanksgiving. When you put that piece of turkey there, remember those that don't have. Mm -hmm. Don't pretend that you don't know. You know. Those that don't have, don't have to be in Africa. We're not talking about that. Your neighbor. Mm -hmm. Especially at this time. Where the whole world is in upside down. More people are starving today than ever before. We know those in camps, in refugee camps. But what about those right next door to you in that mansion? Yeah. Today might be the only meal for the balance of the week some Americans are eating. Look at the lines. Look at the long lines waiting for food to give out. It's on the news for miles. In some countries, there are no lines. 
You pick the bush and eat bush and cook it and eat it. Mm -hmm. That's what the United States have over other countries. When there is a crisis, and all that food stuff you see coming there, it didn't come from the ninety-nine percent, you know. You hear them cussing and carrying on against the one percent. They are the ones that ship all those things, send money, all kind of thing. And some of us are so ungrateful and unthankful. We cost the same one percent. Yet God is using them to feed those that don't have. If you don't have, you can't help. It's as brutal as that. Those that have, teach them to be charitable. What about when the government doesn't have? What do you do? It ends in revolution. The hungry begin to riot. Come on. Hallelujah. So happy Thanksgiving, please. Don't overeat. Okay? And thank God for the little that you have. Eh? Don't talk about, well, I couldn't visit my family. Come on, suppose you are dead, how you will visit? You are alive. You have a cell phone. You can see your parents' photograph live right on it. You can talk to them. Yeah? The whole world is a war zone now. You can't travel where you want. Hallelujah. Okay, I'm going to call out some names now. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Yes, Andrew. Shell in a pit. Sheldon Ma. Juan Lopez. They are looking at it through outreach ministries. Elisa Lord. Jennifer Watson. Nicole Grant. Virginia Rambaran. Camille Sukram Batiste. Reverend Lloyd Gift. Sister Lloyd Gift. Sister Al Andre Gift. Hallelujah. The names that I call, we want to listen. We want to pray that today is Thanksgiving Day in the United States. Everywhere where the embassy is, the American embassy, in Trinidad, they would have a little something between themselves. But the pandic will. Will sort of restrict them. Everywhere an embassy is. In the good times. They will have something going big. We want to pray. Hallelujah. The names that I call. That out of this day of thanks. And celebration. That many will hear the voice of God. Speaking to them. Directing them. 
encouraging them. Speaking, directing, encouraging, supplying, strengthening, hallelujah, etc. Oh God, yes, Lord. Lord, we thank you for today. You may not be an American, a United States citizen. You can join in and give thanks. You're not thanking them, you're thanking God. This could be your day of thanksgiving too. Lord, you said in everything, Give thanks. That's a tough scripture. For this is the will of God concerning you. And that's across the spectrum of the believers. Eh? Whether you, you are in India or China, that's a scripture we don't like to quote. Because seemingly, it infringes seemingly eh, on constitutional rights. No, it has nothing to do with that. Again, the other scripture is Hallelujah. Be content. Godliness with contentment is great gain. That's the believer you're talking to. Yet many of us believers fighting for rights and this and the other. Hey, hey. These are tough scriptures. But they are right. In everything give thanks. If you are well this morning, you have no pains, no aches, and you can sit down and enjoy what you're eating. Not endure. All things were given unto us for us to enjoy. Not to hoard. So Lord, we give you thanks, Lord. Especially at this time, Lord. Where you can again speak. To the believers in the USA. Thank God you can use this occasion to speak to them. Lord. Oh God, we will long to hear your voice, Lord. Whether it's a wee small voice. That only the individual could hear it. Or whether it's a blinding light and hearing the voice but not understanding. Whatever method you choose, Father. Whatever method you do the choosing, Lord. You know what is good. Hallelujah. You know what is right, Lord. You know what the individual will respond to. What will get their attention. Thank you, Lord, for speaking. To the believers, Lord. Speak, Lord, thy servant hear it. And that goes for every believer around the world. Not only speaking to us, but directing. Paul wanted to go into Asia. Twice. Twice. 
And the Spirit of God prevented him. That's a fantastic statement, you know. It means that Paul was sensitive. He knew the voice of the Holy Spirit. Then God gave him a, a dream. Come over to Macedonia, man said, and help us. And he woke up and he said, thank you. He changed his direction. Lord, a lot of us are guilty of ignoring the, the Spirit of God when he speaks to us. Lord, we are guilty. And this Thanksgiving Day, Lord, we are asking you to forgive us. <clears throat> forgive us, Lord, for not listening to your directive and we pay a hard price when it's over. Hallelujah. I tell folks, look, before I got married, I was preaching. I went where I wanted. I didn't have to consult my wife to say, well, what do you think? Mm -mm. I was three single disengaged only engaged to the Holy Ghost and Jesus. But from the day you get married, you got to understand that the decision you make affects not only you alone, but the whole clan behind you. When it's you alone, you can crawl out the hole. But when you have wife and children behind, it's another story. I remember they told us during history, the kings and the dukes had power. To decide who will be the bishop of the churches in, in England and Europe. And the bishops had to play, you call it politically correct today, because the bishops had wives and children. They were married. And that was one of the reasons they bring in the law of celibacy in the church. He was paid by the king, the lords, the dukes. So therefore his mouth was technically shut. But thank God for his leadings. Lord, we thank you. Many times we falter. But thank God as we obey God. Thank you. For directing the steps of a good man are ordered of the Lord. And that includes that's general gender, not just masculine, please. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! For encouraging us. Lord, we thank you today for encouraging us. Many times we are done and out. Eh? You have a smile on your face, a laughter in your mouth. But inside, oh my Lord, that only a facade on the outside. Hallelujah. 
You call that PR, public relations. Amen. When D Diane, Princess Di, and her husband were going through their ups and downs in their marriage, when they go out together, you will see the princess smiling away. And the husband, man, he's shaking hands across there and laughing. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah. But inside was war. That was suppressed in public. And the other facade was put out. Thank you, Lord, for encouraging us in the dark times and the bad times and the rough times and the indifferent times and the good times. You, you didn't pick when times were good with us. Whatever the situation was, Lord, you encourage our soul. I remember some years ago, I was going through some rough times. I was doing a, a half an hour program on TTT. <laughs> and that was a big bite. And when the contract was up, I was still owing 80,000 TT dollars. It's amazing who God used. God bless Mr. Rochard. I don't know if he's still alive. He was a manager, sales manager. And he called me. And maybe he read my face. And you know what he told me? He said, Reverend, God will supply. And he is saved. He was encouraging me. Not only just being saved, but I'm a preacher. And he not. He said, God will supply what you're worrying about. <laughs> I didn't tell him I was worried. <laughs> he said, listen, you don't worry. You take your time. And God will see you too. God use him to encourage me. It's amazing who God will use. He used a jackass to stop Balaamy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you getting me? I never forget that incident. We are supposed to encourage. It's amazing who God will use. Thank you, Lord. So let's give him thanks for encouraging. This is Thanksgiving. I know, yes, encouraging not only the American believers, but around the world in your area, wherever you are. Yeah? You know what they're going through? Some don't talk. They internalize everything. They put on a, a face of victory on the outside. But when they get home, they dread going home. All by themselves. Mm -hmm. And a lot of us have to repent. I never forget what Reverend Barker told us. Sometimes I use these practical experiences. I could stay on the theological, etc., but they're the practical side on planet ground. When you hit ground. He said the next day was a public holiday. 
And a young lady from Toronto was coming to visit he and his wife. <laughs> he was from a well-to-do family. And they had nothing but a, just a little piece of meat like this. It was winter. <laughs> so he put it. Uh, if you notice in the houses here, you have two doors. One door when you come in from the outside and you have a little area. And you close in that door. Then you open the, the door to the main house to go inside. To break the coldness, especially in Canada. Yeah. So you will rest the meat there. It will stay frozen. You didn't need refrigerator. You don't need refrigerator in those countries up there. They put it outside. And what happened? He said he prayed. They prayed. His wife told him, well, to go on credit. But they made a, they, they had a decision between themselves that they will not borrow. These were depression days. Great depression. In 28, 1928. He said, no, we made a decision. We're going to trust God. The Saturday night, 8 o'clock, when the siren went off, every business is closed. <laughs> Tom, not in the city. This is in the prairie country. Ooh, you know, it's 8 o'clock, everything goes down. And what happened? Yeah. He said he was disappointed. As God didn't answer the prayer. He went to the post office to see if money will come, nothing. And he said he sat down there in the living room. And he said, you, he, he didn't speak with his mouth, but inside he said, Lord, you let me down. And then he heard a scratching on the door. And he remember on the outer thing in the in in the wire, there was a big hole, and there was a cat outside. He remember the neighbor cat and the meat there. He said he went blind with anger. The cat was taking the little piece of meat. He said, get up in a rage, preacher or no preacher, man. The embarrassment now. As he opened the inner door and raised his foot to kick, was the cat. Was a huge box with all the goods that you would never dream to have. He stepped over it and pulled the other door to see who. And who you think it was? He saw the hip and drop before he disappeared. <laughs> One of the in and out believers in the church. He said when he picked the box up and bring it in, he couldn't even dream of buying those goods. He said he had to repent. He said, oh God, forgive me. I doubted you. Hallelujah. And that's like some of us. The day is not over yet. Somebody will bring a roast to keep for you. What you? Listen, man. You've got a chance, no man. Forget about what you're smelling in the neighbor's apartment and their homes. Picking it up. And you don't even have the turkey legs. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we thank you for Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, encouraging us. And supplying. Let me read <clears throat> the other group. Reverend Sudin. Denison Justin Whiteman. Alison Montooth Eccles. Sonia P. John. Magdalene. Magdalene Reno. 
Reverend Albert Pilgrim. God bless you, Albert. Philip March Martin. Estrella Brown. Mary Edmund Mocano. Mary Eustace. Mary Lou. Yeah. Carly Braffitt. Jennifer Jones. Horatio Stewart. Horita Stewart. John Shepard Haywood. Jerry Giff. Joan Morgan. Patricia Ashton. Desiree uh, Hudson. Uh, Deacon Andre George. Wayne uh, Shockness. God bless you. I read down all the names so far. We have more coming in. Hallelujah. Yes. For supplying. God supplies, man. This is a thanksgiving. Let, let's give him thanks. Oh, God, for supplying. Not only food, but clothing, job, center, finance. He's never short of supply. The supermarket is not the means. What's the use? You don't have money. You don't have. You can't go to the supermarket. Go to the shopping center. Unless you go into eyeball. Or unless God tell you to go down there and wait. Go down there and stand up. Baby. Therefore you're following the leadings of the Holy Spirit. For supplying. My God shall supply all our needs. Join in please. Thanking God and give, um, asking God to supply those that don't have. If you have and you know, then give something to the person. Take a portion of the baked chick, the baked turkey. It's only you and your husband. Take a piece. And carry it or you know. If you don't know, you don't know. But you know. And put together a nice. And knock on your door next door. See here. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. Especially the household of it. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. For strengthening. Thank God for strengthening you through this pandemic around the world. And not just not just United States, but around the world. This is a global business. If you did not shut down your countries, the other countries shut down. So none coming in, none can't get out. Unless you, you, you have a, a horse you could ride. And even the horse can get tired according to the size of the country. And when you meet the border, what are you going to do? Go in illegally? <laughs> You see the situation. So it's the whole world should be thanking God, the believers everywhere. Amen. Not just the American. Everywhere we believers should be giving God thanks. I just want to thank you. Yeah. Now Andrew Crowdshell, my tribute. John Wesley said, Oh, for a thousand tongues. To sing my Redeemer praise. Mm. Like Charles Wesley wrote it. The Methodist hymn. Andre Crowd said, Even the voices of a million angels. He moved from a thousand to a million. Cannot fully express. Or oh, gratitude. We behave like Romans chapter 1, the antediluvian world. When they knew God, they failed 
to give him thanks and to glorify him as God. If anybody should praise God, it's every believer around the world. And join with uh, the brethren in America and give them a shout of praise, a shout of thanks. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. No, this is serious, please. Hallelujah. We are not of this world. We live here. And Jesus prayed, Lord, don't take them out. Keep them, strengthen them. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for giving us the strength. Hallelujah. That irregardless of what come away, we, we stand up. Jesus, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. In everything, give thanks. Yes. For this is the will of God concerning you. Thank you. So it's the will of God. This is something we don't preach on, you know. We talk about the will of God, the will of God. But this is the will of God. That if your house burned down today, I'm not saying it will. And everything inside there is burning up. And you stand up there by the fire gates and shouting. You know what they will think? You're either mad. Or you set the fire. Hmm? You outside. You're the owner. And you saying, Lord, I thank you for burning it down. <laughs> Come on. In, in, not eh? in, not in. Eh? Not yes. In the, in the exercise, you're, you're, you're shouting, Thank you, Lord, for burning the house down there. Say, hey, wait, either say, that person bipolar, or they are instrumental in burning to get money. <laughs> but there you are dancing on the house, crumbling. And Shouting, yes, Lord. You will make, listen, you'll go viral around the world. You'll make the globe so clear ten times. People will want to know, look what's going on. The house burning down and look the gentleman jumping and shouting and thanking Jesus. Come on. What Paul and Silas did in the prison. Huh? After the praying, what happened? They begin to shout the praises of God. And what happened? The prison and all jump in and start to dance. The prison walls begin to dance. Eh? Doing jitterbug. <laughs> and it's not falling down. You know, earthquake, it will collapse on all of them. Eh? On Sunday last year, Reverend Gibb quote a scripture, and I, I remember it. The trees, let them shout. You call that personification in the English language? Huh? Clap your hands, he heals. Rejoice. Huh? Come on. We have a lot to give God thanks for, for this thanksgiving. Hallelujah. The whole world should be said. The Christian, the believers should be celebrating. All right. Please. We have. A daughter was rushed to hospital. With hemorrhaging. There is a mass on her womb. Lot of pain. Oh my Lord. The sister we prayed for. A financial miracle. She got back her car yesterday. 
and we continue to pray for a big breakthrough in for her family. God delivered back the car. Hallelujah. Now is the rent to be prayed for. Hallelujah. Oh God, we lay hands upon all those at Thanksgiving. You may not have the abundance that you expected. You substitute a turkey with a chicken. Yeah, you couldn't buy the turkey. But you buy a, a chicken. Thank God. What Bible say you had to have turkey? That's American tradition. Never you feel bad when you cannot do what the rest are doing. Yeah? Maybe you, you didn't have enough. You have a fish. Bake the fish. You're giving God thanks. Yeah, the Plymouth Fathers, when they landed and they had the first thing, they had fish in the meal and other things. So come on. Hallelujah. Don't make the commercialization of it bewitch you. Lord, we lay hands upon these requests, Lord. In the name of Jesus, O oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh God, we ask you to meet that need. And the little meal that they have today, Lord, like the people you fed, Lord, when they prayed over it, they want they ate, fill them up. You can multiply it whilst they're eating, Lord. Sometimes you eat a whole turkey and when you finish, you're empty. And you eat one drumstick, that big one. And when you finish, you have to rub your stomach. It fills you up. Lord, let there be miracles to thee, Lord. Give us a voice that we can thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, amen. You are not saved and you want to give your life to Christ. Right now, you're going to do it. Lord Jesus, forgive me. Cleanse me with your blood. Save me, Lord. Through the name of Jesus and the risen Lord. Right now. Holy Ghost make Christ real to me. Hallelujah. And I believe with all my heart. That it is done. You are backslidden and you want to come back to the Lord. Lord Jesus. I've messed up my life. I've turned my back on you Lord. But I turn around now Lord. You gave me the strength to turn around. I have played the fool. I have sinned. I have messed up. Cleanse me with the blood of Jesus. Restore unto me the joy of your salvation. That I can rejoice again. That I'm home again. Hallelujah. It's a long time you've been coming after me. Lord. Searching for me. Thank you. Amen. Now don't forget. I'll be back this afternoon. All is well. At 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. By that time you should be. Finished eating. <laughs> I'll eat by faith. When you eat. <laughs> I'll enjoy the dinner as you eat it. If you're planning to eat at two o'clock, still put put the put the put the machine there that you can see. It. And you can let us know. I'm enjoying the, 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 the turkey right now. We'll enjoy it with you. Alright? This is another day uh, of, of weeping, it's a day of shouting and giving God thanks. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't forget, you will see uh, the, the lines. My telephone number 718-495-4043. Don't forget, we need some more help for the, for the, for the 
Laptops, please. Only $300 for one. Whatever the Lord lay on your heart. I don't know what he's going to lay. He may lay on you to buy 10. I can't tell you buy 10. But if he does that, and remember it is for the school. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 868-791-9626. What's up? You'll get me there. And you could type in whatever you want. You know you can send a message. God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for everything, Lord. Around the world with the believers. Amen. God bless you. To another case you. Hallelujah. I'm right on target. I'm finished. See, I've given you a chance to go be the turkey. Well, it should be in the oven already. Hallelujah. God bless.